Now, one thing I've got to point out is when you walk on the beach at, oh, here we go. We just lost electricity in Punta Cana. Okay, so we just had a great meal at the Riviera and uh, listened to some live music. It was really good. Now, a lot of people have asked me about what it's like to walk around at night in Los Corrales and what the entertainment is like. So here we are. As you can see, it's quite safe. Not much going on. People shopping in the stores. A lot of people out and about enjoying the evening. Pretty safe, don't feel uh, any apprehension whatsoever. It's a beautiful evening, the winds have died down. It was actually quite windy today. And uh, now the winds are quite calm, they're quite nice. And here we have another nice restaurant. And more people out and about. Quite actually quite busy here at night. It's vibrant. Uh, I guess that's the word I would use. All the little vehicles coming around and doing turns. And... Yeah. So now we're going to be entering uh, in the center of Los Corrales. So it's pretty loud here, so I hope you can hear me. people out and about. So now we're about to make our way to Don Pio's and all the restaurants and we're going to see what's going on there and what that is like at night. And here we are. So oh, here's Los Corrales at night. See a lot of people here at the restaurants enjoying some good food. And uh, the band is setting up. They're not playing yet, but as you can see, we're about to have some live entertainment going on here. Quite a big crowd here tonight. Look at this, a lot of people out. And here is Dolce. Also, a lot, a lot of people in the restaurants. These restaurants are doing well here at night. As you can see, a lot of people walking around and just enjoying the evening. And here is Dallas. And Dallas is very busy as well. So as you can see, very safe. A lot of tourists out and about. And and here's our favorite restaurant, Don Pio's. This is where we come in the afternoon to have beer and just watch the world go by. And it's actually quite busy tonight. It's doing very well. So that's a testament to how good the food is at Don Pio's. So as you can see, uh, very, very vibrant here. Lots going on, a lot of people out. Very crowded, very safe. I don't feel threatened whatsoever. So that's a big question is, oh, is it safe to leave the resort at night and go walking around? And as you can see, it absolutely is. Very, very, look at all the people out and about enjoying the evening. Look at this building. This is something else. Eh? Yeah, look at that. Very active out. This is Los Corrales at night. 
Get back, don't bet one. No, no, I'm, I'm vlogging, thank you. Now we're making our way to Cat's Corner. Let's see what's going on there. I think the biggest risk at night isn't uh, personal safety. It's uh, about uh, watching out for the public infrastructure and the holes in the road and not tripping. I think I, I've got more of a concern about that than anything else. So now we're making our way down by Cat's Corner. And a lot of people out and about at Cat's Corner tonight. Very popular spot. A lot of people enjoying a meal. A lot of people at the bars. A lot of live entertainment everywhere. So. So that's pretty much a walk through uh, Las Corrales at night. You can see what the nightlife is like, see what the restaurants are like. Uh, it's all pretty nice. It's actually kind of easier to get around here at night than it is during the day. It's, it's, uh, kind of in a funny kind of a way it's um, I don't know it seems the sidewalks aren't as crowded here and now we are getting back this is the pharmacy I uh, vlogged about a few days ago and here's some stores a lot of tourists out tonight, a lot of people enjoying the beautiful weather. It's up. It's been very windy today, but right now it's very, very nice out. Here is the Irina supermarket. That is where you can get Clamato juice uh, here in Las Corrales. The best price I've found anyways. Here's another popular restaurant here on the corner. And we are now heading back to the beach. So yeah. Walking around at night here, no problem whatsoever. No, don't uh, feel any safety issues. I don't feel like, you know, uh, my personal safety is uh, at risk in any way. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the street's getting darker here. It's getting quieter. I'm in more of a residential area, but a lot of people around. If you, you'll notice, there's a lot of people walking and going about their business. Oh my, what happened in this vehicle? Okay, so. Yeah, just people going to restaurants and tourists enjoying themselves. That's pretty much all it is. Now we're going to head down this street here. This is where the Conzos are. I'm at Stanza Mare right now. And now we're going to go down this alleyway. We're going to wait for the vehicles to go by. There's a motorcycle without without his headlight on. I'm not sure how safe that is. No big level of surprise, though. So we're going to be heading down to the beach, and we're going to be going back home via the beach. Now, one thing I've got to point out is when you walk on the beach at... Oh, here we go. We just lost electricity in Punta Cana. We're, oh boy. Yeah, Punta Cana just suffered a blackout while I'm vlogging. Can you believe this? And wait, I think it's coming back on. Yeah, it's slowly coming back on now. Oh, that was pitch dark. <laughs> Actually, I think we're still in the middle of a blackout. This was unexpected. Yeah, completely unexpected. So we're just gonna stop here for a minute and try to figure things out. I don't know what we're gonna do here. We're gonna follow this guy. Hey, he's got a flashlight. Let's follow this guy. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so we're stuck in a blackout. Punta Cana just lost power, but we have a gentleman ahead of us. He's got a flashlight. We're just gonna follow him down the road here. And we know how to get to the beach once we're at the end of this road, so. But I have to say, it is dark. You don't mind if we follow you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, we have our phone. We use our phone for light. Unfortunately, I'm using my phone to vlog right now, so that's not going to work. What are the odds of uh, Punta Cana suffering a major blackout while we're vlogging? It's got to be one in a million. And we can see a security guard at the gate there, and he's got a flashlight too. We have a gentleman here from Motorcycle who's kindly lighting the way. Gracias. So again, you know, see, that's the thing about Punta Cana. Everybody pulls together and uh, we get it done. Gracias. So, not only are we making our way from Las Corrales to the resort, we're doing it in complete pitch darkness. Like, every, all the electricity is out. We can't see a thing here. A speed bump. There's a lot of people out. It's a surprise that so many people are out. Pizza, restaurant, good food and good price. Beautiful place. Everything good. more people walking in the complete darkness it is pitch dark i have to tell you i am stunned at how dark it is here right now it is like pitch pitch dark nobody's following us so we're doing okay yeah so even in the pitch darkness i have no concern for my safety whatsoever we're going through the gate now we are approaching the beach and at this point I will turn off the camera because it's getting quite windy and I want to use my phone as a flashlight. So, okay, so we're walking down the beach and it's in the middle of a blackout. People are having a nice dinner room, giving us some privacy and the camera around. And uh, yeah, uh, just, we're just walking, minding room business and the power went out. We're in the middle of a very... Uh, Dark street. It was so dark, we couldn't see anything. It was pitch black, we couldn't see anything around us. So now we're, um, yeah, in front of the Malia Resorts. You can see some emergency lights on, and it looks like Malia has power. I mean, they must have their own genera uh, power generation uh, systems. What an adventure this has been. Again, my gimbal is crooked. This probably needs to be recalibrated, so apologies for the picture being crooked. And more people here. Enjoying a nice romantic dinner on the beach, so we'll just turn the camera away this way. And there are some people coming out to the beach and enjoying the beautiful waves. The ocean is quite nice tonight. Here we're at the beautiful Malia Palma Real. And my Wi-Fi just kicked in, so that tells me I'm close to home. We have a gentleman here enjoying the evening. 
It is quite windy again. It wasn't windy in Los Angeles, but boy, it's never windy here. Again, don't feel any, any personal safety issues whatsoever. I mean, let's be honest. If something was going to happen, I'd just run into the resort, right? Even if it's not the resort I'm staying at. It's right there. It's, it's not that long. So quite manageable. And here's a security guard ahead of us. through to Caribe and make our way to the Punta Cana Beach Resort, the beautiful Punta Cana Beach Resort. There's a cat frolicking outside, enjoying the beautiful weather as well. Oh, security is stopping me. Come over. There you go, amigo. All good. No, 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 we're just going across here. Yeah. Buenas noches. See how that is an example of how good the uh, the uh, security is. You see how they immediately came and uh, verified our own resources. Very good. Anyways, we're going to cut this video off now. Uh, that's enough for tonight. And uh, thank you for joining us once again. And we'll catch you in the next vlog. Take care.